Welcome to Eva Trades, and here we are on in the simulator on June 29th at 6.24 in the morning as I push play on the simulator. And today we're looking at uh, three or four, four stocks, um, two of them here, three of them actually, off of the uh, uh, gap scanner, TRVI, NRSN, the two leading gappers up around 20, just over 20%. And so I have those as my first two picks. And then I have a CEAD off the high of day momentum scanner. And then over here on the other chart, I have CBIO, which I'm not quite as fond of, but I put it up there. It is the fourth leading gapper with a nice float, or I'm sorry, with nice volume, decent float, a um, little cheaper. And it is, it has been consolidating for quite some time. So we'll see on that one uh so welcome and hope your day is going well um i did not release a uh trading video yesterday i was busy doing some other things and didn't get the chance to do that but do stay tuned uh for monday morning live trading in the small account um hope to see you there live trading or live it'll be a live stream so that should start at some time after 6, probably around 6.20. So let's take a look and see what we're going to have here for today. So consolidating here on the 5 minute with a lower high and a lower low and a little bear flag and a lower low and a lower high and a double bottom. So is this where we stop and make a move back up? Trading below the VWAP. Double bottom there, so I'll mark that point of interest. Here's another support level there at 242. It's also close to a pivot. I don't want to get too many lines on the chart, but I could put that pivot line in there. Looking more like a guitar with the strings. Okay, and then we have NRSN also trading right below the VWAP. Been consolidating for a while. We could draw us a line like that. And we have a double bottom on this one as well. And a pivot down here, although I doubt that I will be trading it down there. <clears throat> I'm going to try my hardest to stick to the rule of not trading when a stock is below the VWAP. Because I seem to be taking too many losses on those types of stocks. Now there are exceptions, and I'll go over that at some point. So we have a pivot here. We've broken, broken through this resistance, took a couple of tries on the one minute. Third time's a charm. Haven't really given it a decent back test as of yet. But that could be coming. Okay. So take a look, I guess, over here at CBIO. CBIO, it's been consolidating for a little while. That's interesting. That's kind of interesting. So we have a channel. Maybe we drop back down here into the $1.70 range area and... Uh, Maybe it'll turn around and we'll see a bounce. This is one of those exceptions where I might would take a trade off of the bottom line, even though we're trading below the VWAP. It's possible. Depends on how we look at the open. So with one minute to go, I've got to quickly set up my stop loss parameters now. Didn't give myself much time. <clears throat> Just entering in some values for my stops and my targets on each stock so that I am ready to place trades should the opportunity present itself. <clears throat> I 
As a reminder, this is the simulator uh, trader, and here's a look at my progress over the last 31 days, up over $7,000, and I am on day 32 right now. We're just trying to see, you know, how long does it take to get to 10,000 on a simulation? I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't seen these trade before, so... Um, you know just as much as I do. Maybe you know more if you've seen these these stocks on this particular day. All right. So we got a half a minute to go. TRVI breaking down through that support. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. That line there. <clears throat> the only one trading above the VWAP is CEAD, a bit extended here on the 5. The EMA does need to catch up, but that doesn't mean we can't go higher first. And the market is open. Buckle your seatbelts. We're gonna fly! Woo! I wonder if it would be fun to buy NRSN off of a back test of 290. Up above three here. Hmm. Okay. Back testing a dollar sixty two now on CEAD. I might try to get in if this candle closes or the next one opens kind of down by that support. I might give it a shot. Take a starter right there. If it drops down a little more, I might add to it. Okay, right there. Ooh. It's coming straight through. Yep, not liking that. <clears throat> but we'll see. I'm hoping for that move up through a uh, dollar seventy. Pulled back a little more than I wanted to see, but you know we'll see. We'll see what happens here. If that candle can turn green, well, coming back down. I could have sold half there. I could have even gotten out for a $25 win, and maybe I should have. That one-minute candle just closed. So that's a, that's a red candle. Could get out right here, break even. Yeah, I see uh, NRSN there breaking out. I'm going to buy that pullback on NRSN. Moving my stop loss up there on CAD. Not really getting the follow through that I want. So I'm getting out for a small loss on NRSN. And I don't like the action here on CAD either. So I'm getting out there. I'm um, going to take a step back here and just kind of watch things for a bit. So I'm down 57 on CEAD and I'm down 15 on NRSN. There's a nice pullback right there. I guess I could take and get in on that pullback. We are trading above the VWAP, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a tight stop on this. If we break below the VWAP, I'm going to take a loss on it because I'm not going to take a chance that this thing fails. The target is the pink line. I'm going to move my stop up a little more, risking $38. I like TRVI there, but... I could take a starter on that. It's below the VWAP, 
And you know, you know how I feel about trading below the VWAP. I'm not too fond of the idea. Gonna get out there on NRSN. Not too happy with that price action. Selling there on TRVI. <clears throat> and I could have made some nice profit on NRSN, but no big deal. No big deal. Um, here's my PL so far on the day. I think I'm just about break even thus far. I hear something on the gap scan or high day momentum NRSN. That's the one I have up here already. That's weird. 634. Oh, I guess because it broke over the high of day, which was this. Oh, and I missed a good trade here on that. Missed a good bounce trade there. I'm not going to jump in late. I'm just going to let... Oh, here, let me get back up to the charts. This uh, this drop down. It broke out and dropped down, and I wasn't watching. That's okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to jump in on that. This feels like a day where things are kind of choppy, so... Just wait it out, see if uh, another opportunity presents itself here. Meanwhile, I'll wet the old whistle. Not the EMA's crossing there on TRVI. You get the blue one crossing over the yellow. Anybody's... Oh, there he goes. That's nice. I'm not jumping in right there. I got in it over here on this one, but I think I'm a little early. I should have waited for the pullback like that. And this was not the wisest choice to make right there. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to have to play catch up. Everybody likes catch up. Not everybody. I'm going to be quick to take profit on this one. I took those three losses, so I'm looking for really, really where I got in was when it hit the pink line. I was late uh, because when I pushed the button, it was coming up to the line. But by the time I got filled, it was already shot past it. So then I tried to compensate by buying in on a pullback and it pulled back too far and stopped me out. <clears throat> well, we're not seeing follow through on this candle, and now we have another candle. It's likely that this one is going to pull back, but if it can make a move up, I want a little more than that. I could have sold there, but it just, I want more. Okay, whoa. Well, I thought I was going to be green on that stock when I sold right there, but I'm a little bit red. So I took, I had two losses on that, and then I got back in three times, and as it went up, I sold. So I'm back, I'm only down 50 on it. Not making a lot of progress here today. <laughs> it's very touch and go. Hmm, look at this one here. CEAD. You know, CEAD, I'm not going to trade it. Um, I, I, I like this uh, move right here, but look at the volume. That is not the kind of volume you want on a stock that the, that is that cheap. Take a look at CBIO and that nice move it made up to the VWAP. There was a pullback to the pink line I could have bought, but I'm going to not. Oh, guess guess what? Uh, Neo. CEAD, I'm going to walk away from. I'm down 57 on it. I don't like the volume. I'm going to pull up Neo. <clears throat> oh. 
Oops, are we uh are we frozen up on the charts? Okay. We are. So I paused it. And whenever I freeze up on the charts on the simulator, I, I push pause. Make sure everything's stopped. And then I'm going to back it up by just a few seconds. That's not cheating. I, whoops. Not minutes, somewhat seconds. Uh, just like four seconds. And that seems to reset the buffer. And then everything moves normally after that. <clears throat> Yeah, it's really nice when live trading in the market that I don't have to worry about all this. So now I push play. <clears throat> so candle ranges, the average is 25 cents. I'm going to set my stop loss parameter to 15 cents. And look at trying to get in on a pullback. CBIO rejecting from the VWAP. At a dollar eighty one and TRVI making that move up towards this resistance. I'm not really interested in it at the moment. I could try to buy a pullback down here, I guess, if it gives it to me. <clears throat> I'm going to take a trade on NEO right there, and that's that's a little risky. I'll admit that. What time is it? So that five minute candle is about to close. I might take a loss on that. I'm looking for a pullback here on TRVI. There, I entered the trade there. I'm going to take the profit. And in hindsight, holding that would have been better. I was actually looking for it to pull back to 260. I was looking for a small bounce off the VWAP and then more further downside, but I did not get that. So, yeah, looking like it's going to pull back on NEO. I'm going to sell it there for a small loss and wait and see if we get a pullback. Anything above 21, 18 is just a higher low on this one minute time frame. There's a pullback. Maybe it could have pulled back a little more. Possibly down to that EMA. Neo is looking strong. Yeah, I'll add there. What I'm hoping it doesn't do is come all the way down to the VWAP. Could sell partial right there. Let's see if we get a move up to the high. I'm feeling greedy. Anybody feeling greedy? Greedy. Let's say greedy. Greedy is the way to go today. Oh, maybe that's going to pay off. Let's see. And we break through that high. I'll sell half there. And there, I got out on the rest. That's not too bad. Yay, and the audience cheers. We like money. So that's uh, $306 on NEO, $100 on TRVI, $23 loss on NRSN. I don't know where I'm at here. Let's let's see. I, I lost on that other stock, too, that I had up there, CEAD. Um, 326 CEAD, I was down $57 on that one. But <clears throat> 326 here, and I'm down 50 on the other computer over here. See right there. So that is a uh, 270-ish dollar day, hitting my daily goal, 
So, that might mean it's time to stop. But we could certainly keep on trading. I have to keep in mind that at 275, that's how much I've made. If if I give back half of that, which would be 135-ish, uh, something like that. So that puts that would put me down at one. Uh, what is it? 270, 175, one, 140 on the day. I don't know if I want to drop back that far. There's a nice bounce probably off the of 260 over here on TRVI. I don't like the five minute candle. Neo pulling back there again. Bear flag here on NRSN. Can the bulls negate that? We're trading. You got a VWAP or an EMA cross here to the bears. So we're going to be struggling looking at this EMA as a guide on the way down. Doesn't mean we can't break through it. You got a resistance at three. You got the VWAP. And this 293 level. <clears throat> Trading below the VWAP. So I'm not going to trade it since it's below the VWAP. The VWAP. So this five minute candle here on NEO is going to close in... Uh, 10 seconds, we'll get a new one. This is going to close as somewhat of a doge handle. The volume is decreasing. Overall market is trending down. It's an hourly downtrend, so losing the pre-market lows, but looking like a megaphone pattern on SPY on the hourly. <clears throat> May see a bounce off of this level here on TRVI. Will we bounce off the EMA here? No. <clears throat> well, making some money on NEO, that's not bad. We have uh, nothing else on the momentum scanner as of yet. So double bottom down here on NEO. Basically. I don't see anything right now that's interesting to me. And I mean, Neo, you know, it's not, it's not terrible. It is bullish. But I'm kind of wondering if it's going to consolidate now on the five minute. Kind of maybe, you know, pull back to the to the VWAP. You've got this 2111 right there. Here's OK. So this is that's the high there that we're coming up against. That is the high of pre-market first candle of pre-market. So, OK, now we're consolidating on the five minute further. Kind of felt like it was going to do that. It had that look. So let's see. Is that as far back as is it going to come? Is it going to bounce back up now? Will we see? Hmm. No, I'll take that back. I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it now. <laughs> Don't worry. It wasn't anything bad. It was an observation that I decided is not a good observation. I don't want to look like a total know-it-all, but I also don't, I don't know, I meant to say, I don't want to look like a, a not know-it-all, a not know-it-all. Hmm. 2118. Let's see, which line, what was that? <clears throat> okay, so the 2111, yeah, so we broke through. I'm mean, going to have not back tested yet. 
All right. <clears throat> Coming back up there above the VWAP. I just don't know about this one. I mean... Here we are, we broke above the VWAP, we back tested, made a higher high, but then failed for a lower low, back below the VWAP, and now here we are coming back up above the VWAP. It can't make up its mind what it wants to do. It's a tightening range, kind of, on the 15 minute, but here's what I don't like. And why I don't really want to get into a trade on it is you see this hourly candle and that long upper wick. I don't like that. I mean, it's nice that it's made this this nice recovery here. I mean, could it could it be finding resistance right there? It does look like it's kind of fluttering around right there. Yeah, I don't trust it. What time is it? So you got 10 minutes, 10 minutes left on that hourly candle. And now here it is kind of coming back down a bit. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Here comes uh, NRSN down to this possible, possibly down to that pivot. And this is nice. So we're moving back up now on NEO. <clears throat> so a nice bounce off of that 2118, that double bottom. More like a kind of a bounce off of this pivot here also. Yeah, so double top here on TRVI. B hat is hitting the scans. I remember that from a few days ago. B hat. Oh, <clears throat> not too bad. Mm -hmm. Average candle is twelve cents, so I guess I would set my Stop somewhere around nine cents. You got a pivot here. Big red candle there. I'll try to buy off of that support. With a really tight stop. I don't want to take a big loss on this. Oh, that's too tight. Is it going to bounce? It's three dollars. It's not bouncing. I'm just gonna get out there. It took an eleven dollar loss. I don't like the volume on it now that I look at it. So, yeah, it might bounce there, but I'm not gonna trade it. That was a quick decision that I had to make, and it was the wrong one. So I got back out. <laughs> Or a very, very tiny loss. And it's still sitting right where it was at. That's what you get with that low volume. I think it is. I don't know. Well, no, yeah, it still is. Okay. Thought maybe the candle was freezing up. I'm going to... This is the line that we still have to get over. That pre-market high. But I'm going to move the line to there. For the shorter time frame. And I might take a trade off of this. You've got... An equilibrium here. I'm gonna narrow my stop loss down to like 12 cents. Is Neo just gonna break right through? I'm hoping for a pullback to um to the EMA. Maybe into this area, or maybe into this area, something like that. I'm going to watch it. I was just getting ready to look away to get a drink of something. And uh second I do that, that's when I miss a trade. See if it drops below that one minute candle right there. I'm going to take a starter. 
That might be a little early. If I get stopped out and take a hundred dollar loss, I'm gonna be like, oh man, what the hell? I don't know if I can swear on YouTube. I think I can. Should I hold this for a break through the high? Or, you know, the least I could do, I guess, move my stop loss up to the bottom of that candle. Because if it comes back down now, I'll take a $16 loss and that'll be it. But if it breaks through the high, I'm going to take the profit. It might break through the high. It's probably going to. Took the profit because, okay, that's $400 minus the 50 over here. I'm up 350 on the day. And that, friends, is a really good day. Neo pulling back there a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it break through the high. Really glad I exited. Ooh, there it comes down. So I'm glad I sold. You look over here and you look at B-Hat. Remember where I got in right here? So glad I got out of that. Big gnarly red candle up there. So CBIO breaking out of that channel in that second five minute candle and now back testing, back testing, back testing. Maybe CBIO finds that support here and makes a move higher. I guess I would not be surprised. Yeah, I can see that happening. I'm looking at the longer, looking at the 15 minute. Mm -hmm. That could happen. All right. <clears throat> um, I think that's probably going to do it for me. This has been a fun one. I haven't minded this so much. It's been a little choppy, but... Nothing, nothing moving really fast, but, uh, not getting myself into a whole lot of trouble here either. So that's pretty nice. So I'm looking forward to trading Monday morning in the, in the market itself. Um, I, I want to make note of something. Um, well, maybe I won't spoil it. Um, but I am going to have three trades that I can take. Uh, to try to get to that $200 daily goal. Um, there may be some changes coming up to the small account um, as far as profit and risk. Um, I, I'm going to make a try to make a video on margin, on margin with Thinkorswim and, and kind of how it works and what I've learned recently based on the fact that the last time I tried to trade in the market, which was on Friday, um, I found that my orders were getting rejected for lack of buying power and so I called Thinkorswim and I learned some things that I did not know after four years of, of, of using their platform. That, I mean, that's how long it took me to find this out. So I, I was thinking of making a video and sharing what I learned. And uh, if I have time, I will do that. Maybe I'll do that tonight after I get through uploading this video to YouTube. Um, yeah. All right. That's it for me. So up uh, 300 just under $350 in this in this simulator account. So we're going to add that to the uh, overall P&L and get out of here and see you hopefully Monday morning. Have a good rest of your day and be good. Bye-bye now.